Friends and family members got together tonight to remember 19 year old Cody Johnson. He was killed last week in a possible road rage shooting and the gunman is still on the run. Fox 26's Abigail Dye has been covering this story extensively for us and she's joining us now live from Alpha Land Gym in Missouri City where that vigil took place. Abigail. Anthony, it's been five days, five days since Cody Johnson was killed and communities like this one that love him so much. They're coming together, they're mourning and they are praying for a break in this case. Now, we told you about this killing over the weekend. It happened on Friday when Cody was found shot to death in his car on the I-10 feeder road westbound just west of 99. Now it's believed that Cody's car was shot while he was driving west on I-10 between the Beltway and 99 around 730 and 8 p.m. on Friday night. Investigators say they think that this is linked to road rage. And let me tell you, there was not a dry eye in this gym today. Everyone who spoke at this vigil spoke about a brother. They spoke about someone they considered more than a friend. Let's share some of those words with you. This was Cody's family away from away from home. Cody's just a, a wonderful, kind, amazing, amazing son, friend, family member. He would always hug me and I always felt it in him that he was destined for greatness. That kid did not deserve this. He was as pure as they come. I loved Cody, and I miss him a lot. And I'm so sorry. I don't think we can say this enough, but we're so sorry. Go hug the people you love. I was one day away from getting to hang out with him one last time, and that's going to kill me for who knows how long. <laughs> he gave the best hugs. He, when he hugged you, you could tell that he loved you and he cared about you and he really, he really wanted to know what was going on. I remember the first time I met Cody, I was leaving Alpha Land shower and I was in a towel and he was passing by and he was like, bro, you are jacked. <laughs> and Cody was always showing up to my house because something was wrong with his car. And like, he broke my 10 millimeter and he never gave it back. <laughs> his smile will forever be ingrained in my brain. And I love him like a brother. It is about the fact that he's gone because we don't know what happened and I pray that someone comes out and says something. You can tell what an impact that he had on so many lives and his family, investigators, this community, they need help. They need your help. If you have any information about what happened to Cody, who killed Cody, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 713-222-TIPS. You are always completely anonymous when you call that number. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News.